Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Josh Does Coding. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at setting up an enemy spawner. If you haven't already checked out my enemy tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description. I recommend checking that out because it will cover how to make an enemy chase the player, as well as just the basics of setting up an AI. But if you already have an AI set up, it should work with this spawner. So let's just hop straight into it. So all we're going to have to do is come down to Content Browser, click Blueprints Class, and choose your actor. So we're going to name this Enemy Spawner. Built that wrong. Enemy Spawner. You're going to open it up, and you're going to come over to your Event Graphs. You can go ahead and get rid of Begin Play and Overlap. So from event tick, we're going to drag out and we're going to do spawn AI from class. Make sure you select spawn AI from class and not spawn actor. The difference is if you choose spawn actor, your AI won't be able to move. So doing spawn AI from class allows the AI to move spawns. So for the pawn class, this is going to be the enemy we're spawning. We're going to select our enemy BP, you know, whatever your enemy is, you just throw it in there. And then you're going to grab your default scene route. You're going to get the world location. So this is just going to be the location of the spawn point. And you're going to set that to the location that you're spawning the AI from. All right, so once this is set up, you can now spawn an AI from the actor. But we probably don't want to spawn it every tick because then we'd be spawning 10 actors in a second, basically. So what we're going to do is from event tick, we're going to drag out and choose delay. And then from delay, we're going to go to spawn AI from class. So now the duration of the delay is going to be how long it takes to spawn an enemy. So I'm going to say, Every five seconds, we're going to spawn our enemy BP at the default scene route's location of the enemy spawner. So once you have this set up, you can compile and save. Come back into your scene. You can just go ahead and drag your spawn point into the world. And then after five seconds, you're going to see that it spawns an enemy. Then if we wait another five seconds here, it's on another enemy, then another five seconds, another enemy. So that's the basics of setting up an enemy spawner. If you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on this, sort of like a wave-based spawner, be sure to let me know in the comments and I can get to work on that. If you want to see a different specific tutorial, also let me know down in the comments. I'm always looking for suggestions on what to make next. And I hope this helped with your games. If it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. With that said, I hope you have a good rest of your days and good luck with your games.